Hey guys, welcome back to the Audio Wizard, and today we're going to talk about five ways to really piss off your sound man. Now, a lot of bands tend to forget that the sound man is the last person uh, that they really want to make mad during a show day. The sound man wields the power of mute. Don't make him mad. One of the easiest ways to make him mad is to show up to sound check late. Don't show up to sound check late. We need that time to sound check you guys. Now here's the kicker. Once you show up late, we can't do the sound check properly, and then you're going to complain that sound check isn't good, or your vocal isn't prominent, or you know, you can't hear what's going on over there. I mean, it all comes down to the group showing up late. Another great way to make your sound man angry is to be smashing on your drum set while I'm trying to put your kick mic in your porthole. A mark. Don't be just sitting here, Tom 1, Tom 2, Floor Tom, cymbals, while I'm trying to put your darn mic on your toms. I need to have my top end, that impulse response, for the show to mix you correctly. Stop banging around on your darn drums while I'm trying to mic your darn drum kit. Gah! And then once it's sound check time, I'm trying to get kick snare out of drummer, and then we've got Cody over here just going to town, playing his sweet solos. No one wants to hear your solos during the sound check. This is not a time to rehearse your solo. You should have done that all day in your parents' basement. No, man, I don't want to hear this sweet, gent tone you got going on today. I want to hear the show later. Don't just be wailing on your guitar or your drums or trying to sing that sweet tone of angelic voices. I'm trying to mic the stage, and then we can do sound check. Okay? Alright guys, if we go through this entire time for sound check, you guys show up on time and you don't beat around and we have this great sound check set up. Don't change your game structure in the middle of the set. Don't turn it up to 11. Leave it where it is. If you need anything, I'll put it in your monitor, okay? Don't turn yourself up. Why? Because that wrecks the game structure that I have in the house. Completely trashes it. So it's not helping you at all. You're wrecking your show, pal. This leads me to another thing about sound check. During sound check, I will ask for one person to play. If you need more or less in your monitors, just simply do this or this. This is more, this is less, this is good. Another really good way to make your sound man mad is to show up with a completely different tour rider than you advanced. Here's a great example. Oh hey man, welcome to the venue, come on in. Oh hey, how are you? Hey, the guys are wondering where they should load in. Is that around back? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, it's around back, but what guys? Uh, your tour rider says that you're a singer-songwriter, a vocal and a guitar, that's it. Oh yeah, my manager must have sent that towards you, man. That was like from two years ago. I got a full band now. Oh, you don't say two years ago. You have a full band now. But you just sent me this tour rider two weeks ago. Oh yeah, man, we're sorry about that. I mean, I, I know we showed up late and, you know, uh, we, we got a lot of stuff to load in. I even got a full horn section with me tonight. Oh, you brought a full horn section tonight. Cool. All right, folks, now we're to probably one of my biggest pet peeves as a sound engineer. Whenever the singer, two songs in, or even after their sweet intro song, walks up to the mic. Hey guys, is everything sound all right out there? Of course it sounds all right. They're cheering for you. They can hear you. You don't need to be assured from the audience that you can be heard. I promise you, you can be heard. All you've done is shown everybody here how insecure you are, how much you don't trust anybody else in your tech team, and you've definitely upset your front of house engineer because he's doing his job. Do yours. All right, well, in all seriousness, 
Uh, as a sound engineer, you have to roll with the punches, uh, take a lot of flack over the entire course of sound check and load in and, and patching. And I mean, you, you have to have an understanding of, of where everybody else is in the world, how their day has been, um, and what, they're, what kind of baggage they're bringing in uh, on stage with them. Um, so a lot of this is, is, uh, you know, kind hearted jokes, but I'll, I mean, it's also very serious. Uh, these are things that really do make sound men angry. Uh, we have a job to do and we're just here to help you, uh, perform to the best of, uh, your capability. And so, you know, as a sound man, we are the last person in line before, uh, everyone gets to hear your art, right? So if you make us angry, uh, you're already shot yourself in the foot, man. It's, it's not a good idea. Be kind to your sound engineer, get to know your sound engineer, uh, and, and they'll be kind back. Uh, they will care about your music and care to deliver uh, that sweet art that you have spent so much time uh, creating at home in your parents' basement.